So Kristen's in because Ray's watching Elizabeth play volleyball yeah. tonight. So yeah. that's, that's why right. you're here. Her oh, first nice. volleyball game of the season. Yep. So big night. Mm -hmm. A little hot out there. A little yeah. bit. Little Enjoying hot? it? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, not, not so much. <laughs> uh, if you're going to the Pirates game, oh, you're going to be, uh, well, enjoying the game, but hopefully you can find a little bit of shade if you're going tomorrow. The afternoon game, uh, it's still going to be in the 90s again tomorrow. We're starting off tonight with temperatures that are in the low 90s. It's 93 degrees still. It doesn't feel that much hotter because the humidity levels are not that high yet, but that's going to change through tomorrow and as we head toward the second half of the week with that southwesterly humid wind flow. 94 was our high today. It was not a record. The record high stands at 99 and we have hit 94 several times this summer, uh, several times in July and then a couple of times this month alone. So tomorrow we could do it again. You see a little bit of cloud cover starting to build in from north to south and even a couple of showers beginning to bubble up here just over toward New Stanton and uh, the Turnpike and then down toward Uniontown in through western Fayette County, but as we look up to the north and west, there's a big complex of storms along a cold front up over southern lower Michigan. These have been prompting some severe thunderstorm warnings all afternoon. They'll head across Lake Erie, but they're going to run into some relatively drier air. So if they hold together, we could see these affect us late tonight, tomorrow morning. We do have a scattered or slight risk for a few severe storms tomorrow that could contain some gusty winds. So we're in that level two out of five, the yellow shaded zone and a first alert weather day in effect. Now you may get a couple of these storms north early tomorrow morning. We'll have hot, humid conditions in the afternoon and then in the late afternoon, early evening, we'll have to watch. It's sort of a watch and wait and see possibility for storms. It's not definite. It's not a definite time and the computer models are in disagreement as they say. So here's what we know tonight. Those storms over Michigan will start to head our way by early tomorrow morning. They'll They'll most likely fall apart before they get too far to the south, but don't be surprised if you hear a little rumble of thunder in the wee hours of the morning. Later tomorrow afternoon, there's a chance that we could have some of these storms reach severe levels if they pop up and if they can reach those severe levels, they would have some gusty winds. Some computer models showing that north and east of Pittsburgh other models keeping everyone dry, but it will be very warm tomorrow. The high temperature again up to 94 after lows only in the lower 70s. And as we look toward the rest of the Labor Day weekend, Saturday we could see a few scattered showers and storms the first half of the day. A possible first alert weather day. We're keeping an eye on that and then much cooler on Sunday. The heat and humidity really take a break and look at the muggy meter. We're down to very comfortable levels for both as we head towards Sunday and then again on the Labor Day holiday.